Today, we will learn about the food chain. Most of us enjoy eating our favorite food, whether it's pizza, a crisp apple, yummy roasted chicken, a crunchy bite of chocos, or any other food item. Eating is not just for the deliciousness it brings. Actually, we need energy for whatever we do, from playing a favorite sport, to studying for a science test, or roaming around with your friends. The same thing is applicable to every living organism on Earth. These cute rabbits, tiny beetle, naughty squirrel, beautiful fish, lovely flowers, and these trees. If it's alive, it needs energy. Ah, where does this energy come from and how does it get passed around to all living things? Energy passes from one organism to another as they eat plants or any other one. This flow of energy from one living thing to another living thing is called a food web or a food chain. We humans get our food from animals and plants. Plants make their own food. They use carbon dioxide from air, sunlight and water from soil to make their food. This process is known as photosynthesis. So, now you are clear that plants make their food. We humans and other living organisms depend on plants for food. Now. Look closely. A deer is coming. Oh, it's eating the plant. Species that eat only plants and herbs are called herbivores. Oh my gosh, a lion is coming in and it's in an attacking mood. Lions and other species that eat other animals are called carnivores. Just now, you have seen a small food chain. Plants make their own food. Other animals eat plants and they are eaten by other animals. You can say directly or indirectly, we all depend on plants for food. This food chain began with plants. Plants are the producers because they produce food. The species that eat plants are known as primary consumers. And the species that eat the species that is dependent on plants directly is called secondary consumers. Now you see a not so noticeable part of this food chain. These are bacteria and fungi in soil. When animals die, these bacteria and fungi decompose their dead bodies. They become nutrients and these nutrients are again used by the plants to make food. These bacteria and fungi are called decomposers. They are also a very important part of a food chain. Now look at this food chain. The grasshoppers eat grass and they are eaten by the frog. The snake eats the frog and the hawk eats the snake. The hawk dies and is decomposed by the bacteria and fungi and becomes nutrients that is used by the grass. The food chains that we see, which has one producer, one primary consumer, and one secondary consumer, and decomposers, is called a simple food chain. A food chain is a simple version of what actually happens in nature. But everything is not so simple. This looks complex. In this chart, grass can be eaten by both rabbit and grasshopper. And this mouse can be eaten by both the snake and the kookaburras. Also, this snake can be eaten by the eagle and kookaburras. So a food web is a network of food chains by which nutrients and energy are passed on from one species of living organisms to another species. Now you know about food chains and food webs. Can you show the diagram to your friends? Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.